Venomous snakes talking about their children because he says your son's gay. She says your son's your daughter's a whore. Your son's gay. Your son's a whore. Your daughter's a whore. Well, your, your, the son's a whore too. Exactly. But, but basically, you've got that. that they go on. It says, "Well, cut it short <laughs> by saying that he's always barking orders and making deals." This is Daddy Tywin. I really think he, instead of his he's arguments, always in people's business. They should just have dick measuring contests. But he gets his just desserts. I'm just saying, like, instead of just arguing about things, just like. Whip it out on the table, one that's like waist level to both of them. Measure how long it is. He who with the longest wee wee wins. Podrick. Oh, yeah, apparently Podrick is mesmerizing. <laughs> Hawes. They don't know how it is. But Tywin... They gave him money. Tywin dies on the toilet. And we have a video of that. Not right now, but you will be getting a video that's of that. That's a crappy way to die. It really is. And I have cut out the monologuing. Because all you need to see is... That's probably one of the worst things in movie and TV shows. Vir Vero. Villain or Helen. Helen. <laughs> so he's just as bad as I am. Villain or hero monologuing. You killed my father. Five minutes later. <laughs> and he crawls away and dies anyway. It's like, it's just, if you if you had just, just stopped talking and like shot him in the brain, this wouldn't be happening. You know that's where you snap their neck? When in doubt, double tap. And the salsa dance. Cersei! Cersei. She's technically the older of the twins. And as we know, she's basically a freaking slithery snake. And because she's a woman and because she's looked down upon, she does a lot of backroom dealings. She's the only daughter of Tywin and is always reminded. She's like the Voldemort of the nothing. Lannisters. Except people know her name. You can't say it's not accurate. No. But we'll talk about Cersei. He's not going to stab her. But look at that. Look at that smug look. 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 Look at it. Okay. She's a bitch. Look at the face of treachery. She, she's just a bitch. It's Hillary Clinton in Westeros. <laughs> okay, we're done. So, when she's a teenager, she gets told by this witch that she's going to marry a king. And he's going to have 20 sons, but she's only going to have three children. And... They're all going to have golden crowns. I could they're speak. all going to have golden shrines. I could speak for hours about that entire scene about Cersei's Well, I just problem. condensed it. I know, I'm just... Can, can I finish? No. I could speak for hours about, like, that whole scene with the psychic. and just like, no. You know what's going to happen. Well, you know what's going to happen. You can take steps to prevent it. Why don't you just, like, scuttle away to, like, Essos or somewhere, or, like, hide up in the north. Oh, but your blonde hair would give you away. Maybe that because you're a skating bitch. I'm gonna get some water. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got her. She has this thing. And she's also foretold that basically someone prettier and better, better than her is going to take away What's all better her privilege. Mean? I don't know. We are having such a difficult time talking. It's bloody hot in here. Bloody anyway. Hot in here. So, she's watching the battles. She's ignoring everything that's going up north, apparently, with the White Walkers. All that it doesn't happen if it's not in King's Landing. I'm going to pause. This is why I paused. Oh, we're rolling? <laughs> we're rolling. All right. Welcome back. Back to this. We are in Winterfell. Winterfell. Getting some good, sweet, sweet sibling love going on. Ah. Hey! That's supposed to be Jamie and Cersei. Yes. Poor little young Bronn gets caught up in it, Stark. And for love, he says... Jamie tosses the kid out. He did his due. Now he's got his water. I've done the due. Now he's so got water the he flowers. tosses it out. All that's going on. And they're hoping that Bronn's going to die. He doesn't, but that's beside the point. So she kind of freaks out. 
her son is engaged to Sansa Stark. Yes. So you've got that happening. Whether she likes it or not, that's that's what's happening. Talking about Tommen, right? Tommen. Joffrey. Joffrey. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the, this is before the purple wedding. Yeah, because this is in. I wonder what happens if they had a yellow wedding. Who would get peed on? <laughs> I'm done. I quit. I'm going back to Mars. <laughs> okay, Winterfell. You've got that, and she hopes that nothing gets told of it with Bronn. Later on, things happen. Jamie and Ned they fight. If there's Ned a Winterfell. Tells her, is there a summer rise? See, this is why we get nothing done. Get it summarized? Because we're summarizing the story? Trying to? Is... I thought it was funny. <laughs> Should I guess? Better than being an all ass. But I am that too. But anyway. Alright. So. She's scared everybody's going to find out about her and Jamie. And basically, Ned tells her, hey, I know this shit. Ned's an idiot. He does. He tells her. And this is kind of what sends him, after a while, that he's in for treason and he loses his head, right? Yep. Well, Ned, he proclaims Stannis, but she throws Joffrey up on the throne so quick that Stannis doesn't have a time to respond. And that's when all you've got, the land is split up in a few kingdoms, everybody's fighting. Baelish! Baelish Pinky finger. is the one that... Turns Ned in. Yeah, I just... <laughs> God damn it, Ned. You stupid idiot. Stannis wants his crown! You know, okay, the only thing I have to say about Ned Stark and every other person who claims to be of importance and royalty in Westeros is what Tyrion said. Tyrion knows what people want. He knows his, their motivations. He talks to people. Just like he played, um, was it Master Faisal? When he, um, was trying to expose Cersei? I think so. Yeah. He told Pycelle one thing. He told Peter Baelish another thing. He told the eunuch another thing. And then Pycelle got tripped up yep. in his lies. He did that and that he did it exactly to find out who was the... Yeah. And yeah, and it friggin' worked. But unlike Ned's dumbass, he tells everyone what he's doing, doesn't change any of the details, and gets surprised when he gets beheaded. You're a jackass. Ned. Bad Ned. Don't be a jackass. Okay. Lose your senses, lose your head. So, we're at this point. This point. Right there. You are here. Jamie's gone. Jamie's kidnapped. So she takes on another lover, who just happens to be her cousin, Lancel. So weird. Yeah. A little bit weird. But he kind of sell, he sells off information and stuff like that. Yep. And actually, later on, I said, we'll say. But, um... So you've got the Battle of Blackwater happens. Joffrey's around, but she, as a worried mother, sends him back to be protective. Yeah. Instead of letting him fight like he wants to fight. If he had just fought, his butt would have been killed and then we would, it'd be easier. But now she sends him in. And then she kind of freaks out a little bit. She's about to poison Tommen until Daddy Tywin comes in and says, Hey, we won! She, she should have killed him anyway. She seriously... Because. She's like, she would rather take him down. Mother, child, suicide, crazy shit. Tom is like a neutered dog left in the rain. Serves no purpose, no one wants him. So, Renly Baratheon is now dead. Yep. Renly Baratheon's dead. Stannis is still in preparation for his attack. Uh, this is when she sends her daughter Marcella off for her own safety to Dorne. Sucks for you, Marcella. That's where you will die. Where the marriage is arranged by Tyrion. Yep. To make things a little easier. And she's safe. But this is kind of going on right after the, or right before the Battle of Blackwater. So engagement <clears throat> with Sansa is broken because Ned's dead. There's treason that's going on. You've got all this. And then we've already told you what Tywin did. And she's now engaged to Loras. She talks to the High Sparrow. But... In between this, Joffrey dies. She puts her other son up on the throne. She doesn't like Marjorie. She hates Marjorie. That Marjorie. Because Tommen is listening the to flesh her. Flesh light of Westeros. Tell me, Brathian babe. That's that's what I know her flesh as. That's light. what I call her. <laughs> Fleshlight. I guess it's copyrighted though, so that can't be used. 
Probably. <laughs> or the shop. So, here she is. She've got, she's got, uh, the engagement to Sansa's broken off for treason. Marjorie, Marjorie Tyrell, she finds out about the secret marriage with Lancel and Sansa, and then Papa Tywin stops it, and then she's offered up as a wife. That's yep. where we're back. Jamie's back. Sweet, sweet love, but a bit forceful. Did you say sweet, sweet love? I did. Jamie's back, sweet, sweet love, but he's a little forceful. This is kind of where he rapes her. Who are we talking about? Jamie. Jamie's back. Did, did you totally miss the scene where he came in, they were in the crypt, and all that, and he kind of oh! pushed himself upon her? That's right, at Joffrey's, at Joffrey's funeral. Sorry. Yeah, I got kind of lost in thought there. I was I was thinking about Terminator for a second. Really but sure he's why. cool now, because he is one-handed, given a golden hand by his sister. Jamie isn't cool. And he's got this new Stop BF... Stop trying to make Jamie He's got happen. this it's new BFF happen. friend. I'm telling you. Her. She's like his best friend. There's so much sexual tension there, it's unbelievable. Yes. It's just weird. <laughs> and then you got the Tormund thing that's weird. going on is even weirder. See, I think they're better... I think Tormund and and Brienne are better matched than Jamie and Brienne. I mean, because they're both just like mountainous, mountainous individuals. They are, but it's hilarious. And I just freaking love Tormund's beard and his crazy expressions. He is. Like, it seems he's just like... But she, but she's a lady, and actually, when you look at some of the stuff, um, they brought up the history of Brienne. That her history, um, there was a small little called Duncan Eggs. Duncan Eggs. Yes, Duncan and Eggs, a book, and um, Sir Duncan. I think it was Sir Duncan of Tarth. He's in this pre, so small little booklet novella. That's a pre-story to all this. So she actually is from that lineage, which is pretty cool. That's interesting. Anyway, so she's pretty high, but she doesn't care to act like a lady. She'd rather be a knight. Well, we're not talking about Brienne, because I could talk about her. I Whatever. can for five seconds. So. I don't really care anymore. About said, Brienne. said you've got that. The purple wedding happens. Joffrey dies. Brother's back. It's gross. Um, she gets Tyrion arrested for murder. And then in comes Red Viper fighting for Tyrion against the mountain. He loses. Tyrion. Once more, the stupid, the friggin' monologuing. I cut out some of that too. God. Not all of it, but I did come. Damn out it, some. dude! Just. I helped oh him out. God. I did. I helped you guys out. It's not the point. I know, but I tried my best. It's not the point. It's... I don't want to see forty-five. Like, <sighs> straight up for forty-five seconds, just circling, just. <laughs> I'd rather die than deal with more friggin' monologuing. So, because he's being gonna be put to death, he gets let out. We'll talk about that in a second. Just, just, he kills Daddy oh. on the toilet. We're done. Tommen's king. Tommen marries Marjorie. She's not happy because Marjorie is queen bitch now. She has his ear. Tommen's not listening Stupid to mom. Stupid idiot. This is where she talks to the High Sparrow. And she talks to the High Sparrow and she gets Marjorie and her brother taken in. Because um, the brother for being gay, obviously, shitty as it is, and Marjorie for knowing it. But she doesn't really know that, that Lancel's turning her in also, and she gets put in prison herself. The one thing I just, I have to, to question about Cersei and all of her motivation in this goddamn show is, why does she not blame herself for any of this shit going on? She refuses to. Because this is all her fault. Everything that's happening at King's Landing with, with um, the, Sept, the Sept is her fault. Everything. She put those jackasses in power. She gave them arms. She put the high sparrow as high as he is. Strict. I hate you she so did. much, Cersei. She caused so me. friggin' much. But it's do okay. It. Oh, it's okay. okay. No, it's not okay. It's okay because my favorite, my favorite scene in the entire series is 